me again. In this video, I'm going to explain what contract lifts are. But not only am I going to explain it, I'm going to show you one in action. I've been asked to document an old generator being taken down and a new one taken back up to replace it. See you there. So I've arrived at the destination. Behind me, you'll see the mobile crane. Take a look. Emerson cranes have been brought in to, to do the lifting, but they've sub-hired the crane out to city lifting because Emerson's haven't got a crane of this size. Well, I'm trying to talk about, a little bit about this mobile crane. This is a Spearings crane. Let's have a look here. Spearings crane, it's just seven axles. Seven axles. Come around here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 12 tonne an axle. This will lift 18 tonne up to 13 metre radius and it will lift five and a half tonne at 42 metre radius. It's got 42 metre jib. The generator weighs about seven tonne. That goes in on the roof at I think it's a 13 meter radius, so it'll be easy for this crane. So I believe the delivery of the generator has turned up. So we've got lots of lorries down here. Now we've got a load closure. So we've got the mobile crane, uh, the crane mats on another lorry, and I believe the generator in another lorry. Let's have a look. They say you don't gotta go home, but you can't stay here. Here's the Emerson vans. Just over there, that's the crew just getting set out now. And over here, we have the, the wagon with all the migging and the crane mats and all that sort of stuff. So they're just getting set out now, ready to go. Now I'll introduce you to the man who's organized this operation. So this is Daniel Groom, Contracts Director for Generation 3. How are we doing, Dan? Nice to meet yeah. you. Good. Uh, so what, yeah, what's your role in this operation then? Well, I'm running, running the show here, but uh, obviously I've got uh, all the experts in all their different avenues to yeah. sort of take control. Yeah, yeah. So the idea is we're putting uh, this generator from Shenton's up on the roof. We're replacing the old one that's obviously up there. We're going to get down. This is, this is the, the, the cores that are going to power the generators, yeah? Yeah, so this actually, this is for the backup for the new generator. Yeah. We actually put a panel, a load bank panel down on the ground floor. if the generator on the roof fails, we then get a higher gen in place and this is where the power comes to. Okay. So that is going to go up to the roof and that is actually backing up the new generator. Oh, I've got So that. it's an additional backup to the backup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. So you basically organised all this. Yeah. So you're, 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 uh, you, you're arranging it all. So, I mean, nothing ever runs totally smoothly. What sort of problems have you come across with your project? I think from the start, um, you, what you do in projects that take maybe eight, 10 months to procure, you find that staff leave the company, you, you stop people move on or lack of information or correct information. So you have to back that up consistently. Uh, with this, we've been working really well with Shenton's Shenton's a manufacturer, the uh, generator, so we work really well with them and obviously the crane lift companies as well. We've assessed everything as you can. However, day to day basis in central London, uh, the water board have dug the road up, gas works, etc. They take the pavement up, take the road up. So they're not problems, they're just little obstacles and, and, and you get them every day. So on a daily basis, you walk down this street, it changes. So we've, we've liaised with everyone, but obviously human error. Some people just think they're more important than they need to get to the other side to Tottenham Court Road rather than read any signage. <laughs> Block roads closed, <laughs> pedestrians closed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, so yeah. literally, so obviously this is a road closed. You've got heavy mobile crane going on this road. So literally only a few days ago, you've had big holes in this road. Yeah. Which, absolute, was all, yeah. which was a bit of a panic. Yeah, oh, it's absolute panic. Yeah, complete <laughs> panic. But it's London and that's what happens. So things happen fast. It's a busy place. So uh, we're, we're set up for it. It's the only one thing that we can't prepare for is the weather. 
Yes. So, which they're, mo which they're monitoring at all times now. We're just getting it set out now. So we'll watch that happen and then we'll go up on the roof and have a little look. Yep. Fantastic. Nice on. Cheers, Dan. Nice on. So before we go up onto the roof, Dan, what we've got here, we've got the, um, the, other, the other generator here. Yeah, what, so this, what's this one? So this is the higher gen. So this is the backup. So that's now in play. So if the, the grid went down, that will tune in straight away. Yeah. Five seconds, that'll be on. Back. Diesel motor. And that'll go on, that'll cover. So everyone's just getting set up now. The crane match are being laid out now. They're getting set up ready for the crane to, to um, put his outriggers on too. As you can see, I have to take them off the back of the lorry. Got those on that side and those on that side. So now I'm just gonna have a few words with a lady who works at Emerson. She's delivered all the all the crane mats. So Elizabeth, you work for Emerson, so what's your work in this operation? Uh, today I'm a hire operator and a, a HUV driver. So you, you drive the mobile cranes as well, don't you? Yeah, I do. Don't even operate them. Yeah, so can you explain the step-by-step -step process of what's going on today? What we're doing at the moment is that we're rigging the spearing cranes, the seven axle spearing. Um, we put down some Eki mats, for, some 5 by one mats, um, to level up with the pavement, so you can put down the cranes on that. Yep. Um, that was the first part of the lifting operations. Um, and then the driver will set up depending on wind speeds and he yeah. you knows how all of that works. And what's the uh, wind speed limit for this crane? This crane is 40 miles, uh, meters per second. And what's that, that's about 28 miles an hour, is it something like that? Sure, we work in meters. Yeah, uh, tears, <laughs> I do, I do motorist power. So, and what's it looking at now, do you know? At the moment, last I looked, it was 17. Oh, is it? Yeah, so, so depends on whether it drops or not, depends on whether we carry on. Bit touch and go, it. Yeah. Oh, here he goes. We get his dip in the air, and yeah. as he's getting, as he's going up with that, there's a computer on the side that'll tell him what the wind speed is, whether or not he can carry on. And if it's too high, if one then put out the loft section, this one is a mobile tower crane. Um, and if it doesn't let him put that out, then that'll be gone now, then the job isn't able to go ahead. Okay, so it's an automated system in the crane? It is, yeah, it, it cuts it out. If you put it up or down, it, it'll break the crane if you put it up if it's too windy, or take it down when it's too windy. Okay, so, so you've got a lifting team in place, you've got a crane supervisor here. We have, we've got crane supervisors, John O, yeah. uh, Stinger Signaler is Chad, yeah. and then you've got two lorry drivers, myself and Pavel. Can you tell me the difference between contract lifting and, and crane hire, standard crane hire? A contract lift is where we'll come out and we'll rep the job for you. Our AP will come out, tell you what crane you need for the job. You tell us what we need done, we'll tell you how it can be done. Um, and then we'll supply all the materials that's needed in terms of the crane and the lifting accessories. And, um, but a CPA hire is you've got a crane and a driver and you can supply your own lifting accessories, your own supervisors, your own slingers, um, and, and that's basically the difference. So you basically, you've got the OP, you are up the lift man and everything as well? Yeah. Right, so from what I understand, you're into labour for any, if any damages or injuries yeah, and stuff like that? Insurance. So you have to have insurance? Yeah. If it's a CPA hire, you, you, the customer would take out their own insurance yeah. to make sure that we've gone. They're also in charge of all your grounds and surfaces to make sure they're suitable for the crane. We're yeah. in a contact lift, we would do that for you. Okay, cool, nice one. Thanks very much. No problem. It's the time. As you can see, the jib is out and ready, and that is going to lift this old generator out, put it onto the grounds, and lift the new one back in here. Job done, get home for a nice cup of tea.
Right, so the old Jenny's out, down. Got to get the electrical panel up now, the unit, to uh, control the panel. But first, I have to fit some steels where the new Jenny's going to go because it's a different size. The new one's a slightly different size. So, there they are now setting up. It's all go. The only issue we have is the wind's picking up now. Um, so it might be cancelled. They might have to wait for it to drop down a little before we can get the generator back up here or the new one up here. It's just one of those problems you get on these projects. So as I said earlier, it doesn't always go smoothly. And as, no, as a tailplane operator myself, I know that this works with the wind. But fingers crossed it will drop down and we can get it done. Fair play to all involved here because the potential wind could have been a, a big issue here. So the, these lads fit in the generator. They wanted Rob, the crane driver, to land the generator on the steels. They mark where all the fittings are going and get him to pick it back up, uh, take it away or hold it for two hours while they drilled all the holes in the steel and then put it back down and fix it. But it, because he knew the wind was due to pick right up and get too dangerous to work. He said, no, nope, once it goes down, it's staying down. So they had to improvise. They had to get the measurements first, then they had to drill the holes and then get it down and then drill back up through the generator at a later date. Um, it would have been secure because it was seven ton, not going anywhere. So fair play to them for improvising, the fair play to Rob the crane operator for assessing the wind, assessing the, the danger and being firm. Here's the last lift of the day. The old generator's been put on the wagon to be taken away. Everything's done, that is your contract lift. So now let's see what Dan thinks of the operation. Hi Dan, all done, how did you see that win? Yeah, well, went well. Yeah, yeah, tired with the weather, but yeah, we're happy. Yeah. What's the next steps now then? Next step now is we will We've got fuel tank, we've got a clean fuel tank out, so we remove the old fuel, clean the fuel tank, um, connect the fuel line, connect the power, and then you get the, get the engine running, commission it, and then we'll do a site acceptance test with Shenton's, and then uh, it'll be off and running. 
So uh, what sort of time scale we're looking at for that? Oh, we're probably uh, three weeks ready. We get wrapped up before Christmas. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. Is this something you'd like to do more of in the future? These sort of projects? Yeah, yeah it's, it's, they're a good project to do. Yeah. You, you work with companies like Shenton, yeah. Emerson's. Yeah, we've, uh, it's something, it's, it's definitely a market there for us. So you're happy, everyone's yeah, happy. happy. Yeah, everyone's happy. Well, I'm happy. Right, so Lisa done now. It's just de rigging and fogging her up. Got to take line for construction cogs. I'll show you the moving parts of the construction machine. We've got a whole team of people here doing different parts. We've got the the uh, the crane team, the lifting team. We've got the traffic management doing sorting out the people, the traffic, allowing people to go in and out, doing the courier work. We've got the project management. We've got little old me, we're ruling it together. That's how it goes.